My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and in this video we're going to put you behind the driver's seat and have you watch exactly what I do when docking an XPAR 37. And particularly when I'm by myself, um, I uh, like to get fenders and dock lines going before I get to the dock. Um, and so what I do with that is I just got this little remote control with my autopilot. Um, so I can be controlling the autopilot while putting fenders and dock lines out. So we're gonna point the bow down the fairway here as best we can. It's a nice clean lane. And then go ahead and press the autopilot here. And now I'm gonna start getting the fenders ready. Slow us down a little bit. We're doing five knots. We're not in a big rush here. I wanna give myself some time. So what I like to do is I like to have the fenders in here. So I put three fenders in here. And when I'm docking, I'm primarily using three fenders. Unless I'm here for a while, then I use uh, four fenders. So I just do one fender right here. I don't like to do put a fender along the axopar letters here, so I go just forward of the axopar letters, nice and up high. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah. So do a fender right here, with a clove hitch. And then the third fender I like to put right here. Just above the water, another clove hitch. Uh, now we're off a little bit more to starboard here, so I'm going to do five degrees off to starboard. Do the dock lines in here. I just use two dock lines because the dock lines are so large from Axopar. Uh, they're nice and long. I really like it. Um, so I do one dock line right here, midship, which is key. I'll show you why that's key in a second. And then Another dock line all the way forward here on the bow. And then run the tail aft to the side door here just so it's easy to grab. And now I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna take us off autopilot and we're gonna make our way in here. So now as we're making the approach to the dock, I'm gonna turn the thruster on and we're gonna dock right up alongside where their work boat is. I'm just gonna back in. You always wanna approach a dock at a speed you're comfortable potentially hitting the dock, so I always like to approach a dock as slow as possible. One way that enables me to do that is I just use one throttle. Um, that way I can still steer the boat nicely, but I've got less, uh, less thrust, so I'm going a little bit slower and that way I find I can be a little bit more precise with where I'm putting the boat. So I'm gonna start making my left-hand turn here. Hard over to port. I'm gonna turn my engines to the left. See actually standing, I'm standing right up Right next to helm like this, this is how I like to stand with the engines turned in. So you watch my transom. Now I'm gonna straighten the motors out. Focus on getting parallel with the boat. I'm actually gonna turn the engines back in towards the dock. My transom is trailing. I'm kind of going like this towards the dock. So I'm actually happy with getting the transom a little bit further away. Now engines in towards the dock, I'm going to neutral. And my goal is to get my stern cleat to the second cleat on the dock there. So what I'm gonna do is turn my engine soon all the way over to the, to the left and go in gear, go forward. And you'll see, watch, watch how my transom's gonna go right into the dock right here. I'm just gonna grab the spring cleat right here, slow the boat down. Jump off, gonna tie the spring on real quick. Grab my stern so she doesn't drift away from me. 
I'm happy with that position of the spring. Tie it off. Then I'm using the same line to tie the stern, stern down. And I like really long spring lines, so I like that a lot. And I like to have the transom nice and close to the dock here. There isn't anything interfering with me getting on board the boat right there. I'm gonna pull us in midship so I can grab the bow line. There we go. I'm gonna tie the bow line off. This doesn't need to be tight, you know. Give it, let it have some slack and then bring the line around the horn just like that. I bring this to the spring. Nice long spring line, just like I talked about. And I like to have the springs nice and taut. So I like to have tight spring lines and a, and a loose bow and a fairly tight stern, just because I like that stern. The stern line isn't as tight as the spring lines, but if the stern is tight, then you can easily get on and off the boat when everything is shut down. So yeah. This is as easy as it is. Um, hope you enjoyed kind of a point of view version of how to dock an axle bar.